Hi there, 3D printing enthusiasts. I'm here again today to solve another common problem in large format 3D printing. When you're doing large format prints, you probably want it to run time effectively and smoothly. So if something like your sensor, the filament sensor gets clogged up, that would not be a good thing. So I'm here today with Adnan to go over why that happens, why it's important as well, and then how we solve that. So Adnan, first, what happens? Like, why does that happen? A major roadblock to an efficient filament feed is that the filament experiences some kind of a drag or a friction on it when you're operating it. Okay. So what happens is, as we go through various pools of different manufacturers, there's always a possibility that we have some kind of inconsistency in the filament diameter. It cannot run freely through a filament sensor. Also, depending on where your machine is at, let's say it's in the, it's in the office or on the shop floor, yeah. you may have some kind of dust or debris getting into the filament sensor and ends up clogging it. Now what happens is when this gets clogged, either the nozzle gets jammed or you may have a complete part, but it looks something like this with all the rough surfaces on top of it. Okay. And you don't want that. So from different companies, mm -hmm. the diameter size of filament can be slightly can vary. varying. Okay, yeah. I would again would not have thought of that. So when one of those things happens, what do you do? So basically we have three methods of solving the problem. Okay. The first one is we use a canned air duster. Now we got the filament sensor off the mounting bracket. Okay. So here's where the filament gets goes into the filament sensor. This is the entrance and this is the exit. So what you do is you use the canned air duster uh -huh. and you blow air at like a moderate pressure through the inlet. Oh yeah. And you do the same thing again from the other side. Both sides. Yep. So this is the first method of doing it. Okay. Uh, for the next one, you use these cleaning brushes that come with the machine. Okay. So you simply use, let's say, the smallest brush first and you insert it from the entrance of the filament sensor. Mm -hmm. And you make sure it goes and comes out the other way. Okay, like so you want to see it right there. Yeah, All you right. want to see it. And then you just turn it in your hand to make sure it cleans it up. Mm -hmm. And then you take it back out. Okay. Now this should basically solve any or remove any kind of dirt from the filament sensor. So the third way of cleaning it up is taking a look at the guide tube that's inside the filament sensor. Uh -huh. To do that, you simply unscrew these mounts that's, that are at the end of the filament sensor and this is the guide tube that comes out of it. Oh. So you visually inspect this guide tube okay. and you make sure that there's no visible kinks or bending in it. Uh -huh. And you also make sure that it is, it looks a whole complete circle to you and it's not bent. And if it does, you just use your hand and straighten it out. Oh, so you just do it with your hand? Yeah, Okay. that's always easier. Yeah. Uh, once you do that, uh, you should be able to get rid of any problems that the filament feed has. And is this something that you only want to do if the sensor goes off or if the sensor is clogged? Or is this something that you want to do preventatively, like as a maintenance thing? So it totally depends on how you use your machine. Like I said earlier, if you are out in the shop floor, then the chances of getting debris or dust inside the film sensor are quite high. Yeah, so you want to do it more often. Also, okay. when you're printing with, let's say, regular PLA, then mm -hmm. you don't you won't need to do it very often but if you're printing with something like carbon filled PEG or any other kind of abrasive materials then you want to do it more often just to make sure that it's not clogged in there thank you very much for all that information and thank you guys for watching tune in next time for our next solution to a common problem in 3d printing and if you guys have questions on this or would like more information click on the links below and we will get that to you